Hey soldiers, this is Sergeant Merrill, and today we're going to be checking out the Scar Age in Battlefield 4 and seeing what the developers might have had in mind for it. Yeah, love that Scar Age, baby. Mmm, got that surefire vertical grip on there. Ooh, got that foldable stock with the Neotech holographic. It's not available in the beta, but that's okay. Yeah, we're making love tonight. I'm gonna give it to you hard with a 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO round. Wait a second, what just happened? I was just, I was just daydreaming for a minute. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. It's just that I, I get excited whenever I see the Scar H in a new game. It's in so many different games. I think FN Herstal is represented more than any other manufacturer in, in video games, especially when it comes to both uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield. A lot of these weapons are made by FN Herstal, including the entire Scar platform. In the beta, we only see one version of it. We see the Scar H, which is the big brother to the Scar L. The Scar H fires that 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO round, that battle rifle full powered cartridge round that we all know and love, and the Scar L fires the 5.56 NATO round, which is our more standard assault rifle round. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while, you probably know I love the Scar. It's a great platform. In fact, about six or seven months ago, I did something called Week of the Scar, where I went through the Scar platform on several different games and kind of see how it's represented differently in every single game. And I think that's interesting. Developers have a hard time figuring out how they want to represent this weapon. And by this weapon, I mean the Scar H. The Scar L, it's a good weapon, but I think it's getting phased out. The whole platform was designed by FN Herstal specifically uh, for the United States Special Operations Command when they were doing like the Scar competition. So the contract did involve both the Scar H and the Scar L, but the Scar H is definitely the more successful of the two. Any operator would tell you they'd prefer the H over the L. Maybe not any, but most. And certainly when it comes to the civilian version, the Scar 17S is certainly the more popular of the two. It only fires in semi-automatic, but when we're talking about like range uh, instructors and stuff like that, they really enjoy the Scar H because it, it fires in any condition. It's a very reliable weapon. Uh, you know, you can operate in the desert, you can operate uh, in high humidity. It's just a very reliable, battle rifle. I certainly wish I had enough money to own one, but such is not the case. Maybe more people should watch my videos so I can own one. <laughs> I'm not joking. But as I was saying, developers come at this weapon in, in multiple different ways. Battlefield 3 definitely meant for this thing to be a close quarters weapon. It was actually the CQC variant where it had about three inches taken off of the barrel, uh, which is the way we can see it in real life. And I think that's the case here in Battlefield 4. I haven't been able to like sit there and measure the length, but as it operates in the game, it certainly feels like a close quarters weapon. And I think that's what confuses a lot of people. The fact that it does fire the 7.62, if they do or do not know that in real life, they do understand that it is a battle rifle, packs more of a punch, and therefore they think it's meant for more of a range. And that's certainly not the case. I mean, don't get me wrong, in real life, this thing could certainly put somebody down at a range because it would only take one bullet, but we're talking about a game here, and the battle rifle rounds seem to take two, three, sometimes even four rounds, depending on where you hit your target. And this weapon, given that it's a close quarters variant, would not perform well at putting successive shots on target one after the other. However, if that's what you're looking to get out of the Scar H, if you want to see that long range capacity, you really love the Scar platform, you want to use it in more of a battle rifle role, uh, there has been talks of actually putting the long barreled version of the Scar H in Battlefield 4. So it may be something we see in the full release, which is certainly going to be interesting. You're talking about the same weapon, the same caliber, just increasing the barrel length. I really want to see how Battlefield 4 is going to take it. As of now, though, with this current version, I see a lot of people getting frustrated because they're going against people like, let's say, with the AK-12 at a little bit longer of a range, and they're thinking, hey, you know, I have the 7.62 round. This has more of an effective range than the 5.56. Why am I consistently losing these battles with these assault rifles? And this is actually a debate that happens in real life. Welcome to the party. This debate has been going on for decades. Which is better, the 7.62 or 5.56 in a wartime scenario? The 7.62, which has more stopping power, more of an effective range, or the 5.56, in which you can put more accurate successive shots, one after the other, on target, and just, in general, carry more ammo, both in the magazine and on you. 
I find it interesting that Battlefield 4 has created that same debate and it's only the beta. Uh, so what I think is meant to happen here is the SCAR-H is going to outperform the AK-12 and the standard assault rifles up until a certain point. It's just going to do significantly more damage than the assault rifles. But after a certain point, it's going to be a, more about who can put more volume of rounds on target. And that's going to be the standard assault rifles. That's going to be the AK-12. It's going to be the SCAR-L if they implement that. I'm not saying it's not possible to put successive shots after a certain range with the SCAR-H. You're just at a little bit of a disadvantage than the standard assault rifles, in which it's, it's almost easy mode. You just kind of point and hold down the mouse or the, the trigger and it goes where you point. <laughs> SCAR-H has a little bit more of a recoil and you also have less rounds. You got 10 less rounds than the assault rifle, so you have less rounds to work with. So if you're one of those people that is really accurate, man, use the SCAR-H. It's a headshot mach machine. You are definitely rewarded more for headshots with this weapon than, than the AK-12. But if you see yourself consistently losing those fights, you either might want to consider using a more standard assault rifle, using the 5.56 NATO round, or try and close that gap before you engage. That's what I see a lot of people doing with this weapon is they just, they start engaging from really far away and then they're like, oh shit, I'm out of rounds and this guy's much more accurate than I am. Uh, so try and bridge the gap before you fire that first shot. If his about 100 meters away, try and close it to about 50. That range right there is exactly where this, this weapon is gonna outperform others. In any case, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the SCAR-H and the SCAR platform in general. It's a great platform. I definitely think we're going to be seeing more of it in Battlefield 4. But that's all I have for this video. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.